All right, welcome back to StarCraft SMP Season 2. It has been about a week since last video I made on this server, and so much stuff has changed. It is actually insane. So in last video, it was just the first day of StarCraft SMP Season 2. I just roamed around the world, found a place to live, I also found an MFS Geode, I haven't explored it yet, but I found it, and I built the first base of my house. At the point of recording this video, the server is online for about a week, and so much stuff has changed. First of all, and least interesting, my house. I built a little bit further and like you can see, the base is here. There is a house, it's not complete yet, there aren't even rooms yet, but the base of the house is here. Also, here we got some doors that go straight to the mine. We still have to explore that MFS Geode, but that is something that will come later. For now, we will take a look at all the other things that have happened in the past one week on this server. Which is quite a lot. First of all, many people actually decided to start living together here inside of Soracraft. And what started as quite a small town actually turned into quite a significant city. With, I think, a wall. I don't know if the wall is finished yet, but they wanted to build a wall. Also, the Ender Dragon has already been beaten. Just yesterday, they fought the Ender Dragon, and the Ender Dragon is no longer in this world existing. Now, beating the Ender Dragon is actually something I thought would happen way sooner. I thought, like, on day number two, the Ender Dragon would already be gone. That wasn't the case. It took them, like, six days to actually kill it. So that's a lot longer than I actually expected. But now I'm curious. Where is the Dragon Egg? Who got the Dragon Egg? Where is it stored right now? And how can I see? It. So that is something that we will have to find out today. Anyways, before we start, it would really mean a ton if you could leave a like on this video and also check if you are subscribed to the channel. Pretty much none of you that are watching this video are actually subscribed. It would really mean a ton. You would really help me out. It only takes a second, as you can always unsubscribe in the future if you change your mind. Now, I hope you won't, but shit happens in life. It is life. And then, without any further ado, let's dive right into it. So before we go into the town and before I'm actually going to try and find the dragon egg and also find the ants in general, I want to take a look at that MFS Geode. Oh yeah, the house. Wait, no, so many things I have to show. So the house, uh, this is what has become from it. It is far from done, like far from done, but it is a base. It's a start. It is not the most complicated and well thought out house design in the world, but it is simple and I think it looks great. From the inside, we got one giant room. I still have to split this room up into multiple rooms. I actually want to make like a chest room and an enchantment room and a room with a lot of furnaces. So I still have to make kind of a plan on how I'm gonna do that. Now behind these doors, we got the mine. And I actually want to take a look at the MFS Geode we found at the end of the last video. So where the freak was it again? Where are you hiding? Was it down here? I don't remember. Oh, wait, here it is. Here it is. Yeah, okay, so here we got the mine shaft. And then somewhere. Yeah, MFG out. Nice. So this is the MFS Geode. This is actually the first time I'm seeing it in regular Minecraft survival. That is so cool. Oh, I'm gonna take these blocks for sure. They look so great. Oh, yes, we also got MFS shards now. So when you break these big ones, you actually get MFS shards. Now, I don't know what you can actually do with them. I think you can just craft blocks of amethyst, but I'm not really sure. That is something I will still have to find out. But we're gonna take a ton of them. My pickaxe is kind of breaking and i don't even have blocks to go back up oh my god i didn't think this out at all can i stack up with this let's see how far can i come actually i have to make a new pickaxe okay we're out i love the sound that the mfs geode makes when you walk on it it's so great i should actually put these mfs geodes somewhere in my house not sure where but it would be great to walk over it and hear that sound every time i only have had a little bit of time to actually play on the server like you can see i evolved this house from a base to an actual house with no rooms that is the only time i had to actually be on the server the rest of the time i've been on the server i've just been fixing bugs i've been helping people that got grieved i've been banning people because actually quite some people have already been banned on the server just don't steal don't grieve that are the rules but yeah while i am still walking around to my iron gear pretty much everybody is already walking around in their netherite gear or full diamond gear for sure so this is something that we will also have to change maybe we can get some diamonds from some guys in the server i should actually ask for now i need more food and then i want to explore the city because there's actually a city inside of this world oh we also need food 
I'm just gonna ask for food and diamonds. So I know that the city is somewhere close to spawn. I don't know exactly where it is, but it shouldn't be hard to find at all. Uh, oh wait, I see something already. What is that? Look at that. There's a small house. Who's that? A well-built base. No way for me to go inside. It's probably protected. Oh yeah, that's also something that I haven't told you yet. So if you guys aren't actively playing on the StarCraft server or you are not in my Discord server, then you probably don't know about the new plugin that has been added to StarCraft SMP, which is green prevention so with grief prevention you are actually able to claim your own area here inside of the server and by doing that people won't be able to destroy anything in it so they can steal something they can break any blocks it is just basically protecting your own home an explanation on how to exactly use it is inside of the official Casasura discord server if you're not on the server yet what are you doing it's a lot of fun there you can join with the link in the description of this video but yeah we got grief prevention and I highly recommend you using it because it basically just prevents people from grieving your house and stealing from you and also if your house gets grieved and you haven't protected it at all and then you come to me report it and say like Kassasura can I have my stuff back my house has been grieved I haven't claimed anything but my house has been grieved then my answer will always be no there is now grief prevention inside of this server that means now you will just have to protect the stuff that is most valuable to you if you don't protect anything because you just don't want to and then you get grieved then it is officially your own fault you could have prevented it but you didn't so then of course i will punish the guy who did it because grieving and stealing is still not allowed on the server but i won't help to repair the damage now let's say you have protected your area but you still get grieved because the guy found a bug or the guy just hacked the server basically then of course it's another story but please 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 Use grief prevention, make sure grievers don't get a chance to destroy or steal from your house. Okay, now back to the video, we have to find that town. Oh, wait. Huh? Why is that pillar? Why is it here? I'm confused in so many ways. It's all very interesting. I really need food. And who the freak built this all? That's actually what I want to know. Guys, does anyone have any spare diamonds or netherite for a poor Kasai who's still walking around in iron gear? Oh, he just left. Seriously, mate. You just don't want to give it. You're avoiding the question. Well, then. Also, I'm dying of hunger. <laughs> this is horrible. Okay, well. Um, anyway, I need to find that village. I don't know where it is. It was close to spawn. It was close. Where the freak is it? I can't even run anymore because I'm so hungry. No, skeleton. No, 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 no. Okay, I have a sword. I have a sword. I know how to use it. Uh, uh, eh, eh. Die, idiots. He's dead. And I'm still alive. Jesus. And we found the town as well. He left again. Seriously, mate. If you don't want to give me stuff, just tell me. That is great. Okay. Uh, uh, ow. I'm actually dying. Why am I the owner of the server? And I'm the one who has the least amount of gear, doesn't have any food, has a house that looks nothing like this. Oh, no. 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 Okay, I'm actually gonna die. I'm actually gonna die. What is this? Why is this? Here's a home. Okay, there we go. Okay, what if I go inside of a bed? Ow, oh, I can't use it. God damn it, I can't use anything here. It's good. He has protected the area, but still. Okay, I saw a farm just a second ago. By the way, we are inside of the city now. Help me. Please. Hi. I need food. And I want to go inside of here. There's a zombie. No. No. No, no, no. For some reason, I kept my stuff. Why do I still have my stuff? Is that an OP perk, maybe? Or just because I have all the permissions of the server because I'm an OP? I, 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 I don't know, actually. I should have lost it, but I haven't. That is something I will need to fix. But for now, it's fine. Because I can help you with netherites. I got a good netherite mine that works. Well, that works, I guess. Okay, wait. Let's go back to the city. Let's see if I can get myself some food this time. Uh, jump! Ooh. I survived it. Ooh, zombie flesh. That works. Yeah, let's just eat it. There we go. But this is quite a big city, actually. The last time I took a look at it, it was quite small. It was the big city like this. But now there's so many houses already. Most of them aren't done yet, but there are quite big houses. Ooh, what do we got here? Ooh, we got some stuff laying on the ground. Not enough to make any bread or whatsoever. That's sad. Just gonna drop it again then. Ooh, this also looks cool. Ooh, we have turtles here. Nice. Turtles and turtle eggs. Oh, creeper. No. No, just explode already. Thank you. Ooh, here we got a very well-designed nether portal. 
I love it. It really works with the Amethyst blocks. No, I'm dying again. Seriously. How is the skeleton still alive? Oh, wait, he's under a tree. Sneaky bastard. So I thought they actually wanted to build a wall around the city. Doesn't seem like they have done that yet. That's probably something that will come soon. But that's just work in progress. Does anyone have some food for me? <laughs> Please? I'm gonna die. TPA to that guy. Okay, I want some food. Oh, here he is. What is he doing? Why is he placing that? I think he's gonna give me some bread. What? <laughs> what are you doing? Why are you placing blocks? <laughs> oh. Okay, there he goes, there he goes. He places blocks again. Just don't put the blocks in your hands. They don't seem to be scared to place it. I think he's working on it. Sadness. It's all sadness. Do you have some food for me? Ooh, yes. Ooh, it's quite many. Okay, 20. That's fine. That's fine. Now let's go to the crafting table. Can I use it? I can. Okay, that is six more food. We now have a total of 10, which is much more survivable than starving. Oh, what do we got here? Oh, that's a ravine. Wow, that looks cool. So did they actually build over the ravine? Yeah, they did. Awesome. Okay. What is this? Government agents only. Authorized entry results. In exile. Okay, I passed. Uh, okay. What is this? Watchtower 4.0. Wow, it's all upgrade from the last one I see. The reason me being kicked is because currently at school and their Wi-Fi is not the best. He's playing Minecraft and he's playing Starcraft at school. You're a legend, mate. <laughs> That's how stuff is done. You know it. I <laughs> love this. So basically, I'm ruining this guy's school life by opening a Minecraft server that he wants to play so bad that he's even playing at school. That is so awesome. I'm ruining people's lives. Yay. I don't know if there's something I should be proud of. But hey, you know. It's fine, I guess. Oh, really? You're playing at school, <laughs> legend. <laughs> Can you give back the boots? Oh, yeah. He wants boots back. Oh, but this is smart. So somebody actually stole his boots, and I agreed to give them back. So I'm gonna spawn them in and give them back to him. But I'm also gonna ask if he maybe has some spare diamonds for me. Yes, I can. But do you maybe have some spare diamonds? Die for me. Let's just ask. You never know. Chain boots one. There we go. And then we're gonna chant it. Chant and breaking and breaking two. That's what was on it. I know that because the boots have already been stolen three times. Yes, I do. He does. And I do have his chain boots. So that is great. This is what we call trading, guys. This is what we call smart playing and trading in Minecraft. I spawn in an item that has been stolen from him and I agree to give back. And I get diamonds. How fair is that? <laughs> this is great. Like, I don't need a ton of diamonds. Just a few diamonds is fine. It is so smart. Yes. Where's our house? Ooh. How much do you have? 12. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you. Okay, we're home again. Nice. Now let's get some sticks. Let's make a diamond pickaxe because we finally can. Diamond pickaxe. There we go. Also gonna make a diamond sword. Nice. Away with the iron stuff. We still got seven left. Oh no, we got eight left. So let's see. I can make myself a, uh, some boots. Let's make some boots. There we go. Nice. Ooh, car for me and diamonds. Yes. Now another very important question, of course, is does anyone know where the ant is? And does anyone actually know where the dragon egg is? Does anyone know where the the end is. There we go. Let's hope somebody answers. Hmm, let's see what happens when we go inside of the nether. I've also never been inside of the nether before, so... Holy crap. Holy crap. Why are so many mobs here? How many mobs can there be in the freaking nether? Okay, that was a stupid sentence. I thought that maybe they would have like kind of a nether base. But heck no. No nether base at all. Ooh. Yes, the stronghold coordinates are minus 606, 40, and then 1950. Okay. Thanks so much, dude. Okay, we're going there. So the end portal should be somewhere around here. I think I see the indicator already. There we go. A giant and stone pillar. Uh-huh. Okay. Ooh, yeah. Ooh, here we go. Nice. Let's go down. Let's see. What do we find? Oh, okay. Nice. Hehe. <laughs> hmm. Looks like the stronghold itself is pretty untouched. They just went straight for the portal. And I get that. Wow, we even got some pumpkins here. That's cool. Well, I'm not so scared of the end, actually. I'm just going in there. Let's see if we can find the dragon egg. 
Okay, there we go. Uh-huh. So this is where the end fight took place. Okay. Lots of stuff has already been built here. What do we got here? We got some leaves. We got water. Lots of water, which is a smart move. So much stuff here. The whole freaking end is covered in water. Where is the dragon egg? Is the dragon egg up here? I don't think so. A dragon egg here. No, that's absolutely not a dragon egg. Oh yeah, of course. We got an enderman farm. But what kind of freaking end fight was this? Oh my god. Now, it doesn't look like we can find it here. Do you happen to know where the dragon egg is? I want to see it in person. I think Red got it. No surprise at all there. But one thing we do know now, the ender dragon has been defeated with... A lot. That's, I mean, a lot of water. Okay, let's go back to town. Let's see if we can actually find the dragon egg. No. Go away, please. There we go. Okay, we're back in town. Now the question is, where is the helper's house? Which house is actually his? And where does he store the dragon egg? So I don't think I can break any block of his. No, I can't. But this is indeed his house. Now, normally I would follow the rules and not break in. But I want to know where the dragon egg is. And I am the owner of the server so I can just go through the wall if I want. Now, I know that's cheating, but it's not like I will steal anything. Just want to know where the dragon egg is. Uh, there it is. Okay, I found it. The dragon egg is in the possession of its rat. Or yet, yeah, this guy. The helper of the server. I already thought that he was going to be the one to claim the dragon egg, and he did. So that's quite nice. Like you can see, I haven't took it. I won't take it. I just wanted to know where it is. Okay, I'll be going now. I just needed the information. Oh no, so many monsters. Home, home, come on. Yes, we're safe. Okay. But this community, it is honestly awesome to see that so many people actually decided to live together and make their houses together. Just literally creating a city and a community here inside of Sorocrat SMP. That is just great to see. That is what the Sorocrat SMP should all be about. When people are talking about SMPs, most of them are thinking about, yeah, it's just like kind of a faction surf, you know, grieving and killing each other and making crazy things. We're still gonna make crazy things in the server. I am sure of that because this is only what we have after one single week. The last server was one and a half years old this server is one week old and already this has all been built i think the server is doing amazing it's already doing better than Sorcrest season one also people are just having way more fun than Sorcrest season one i'm having more fun than in season one what a server what a greatness and we also got this farm over here what kind of farm is it actually i think this was supposed to be a creeper farm uh we got oh skeleton farm maybe i think yeah it's a skeleton just a mob farm in general it doesn't seem like it is working if i see all those great houses here on the server i'm also like i should focus more on my house it honestly honestly looks sad. It is just one giant room of nothingness. But that is what my houses are like most of the time, so yeah. <laughs> uh. Anyways, guys, I really hope you enjoyed watching this video on Sorcraft SMP Season 2. Now, if you are not on Sorcraft yet and you want to join the server, the IP is mc.sorcraft.eu, but the server has a whitelist. If you want to get on the whitelist, just join the official Kasasura Discord server. Link will be in the description of this video. Just make sure to join the Discord and there will be a channel called Soracraft whitelist. Just put your Minecraft IGN in there and I or another staff member will whitelist you as fast as possible. And then I will see you here on the Soracraft SMP. I'm very, very curious to see what the future is gonna bring for this server. It has been only one week and the Ender Dragon has already been defeated. I don't think we defeated a Wither yet, but I'm, I'm not even sure anymore. Some people already got all the achievements, people got Phil Netherite, and I'm still here in my Iron Gear, so I think I need to do some mining next video. Orange is gonna ask very very politely if somebody can donate some stuff to me <laughs> anyways this is all for now i really hope you enjoyed watching this video if you did make sure to leave a like it if you are new to the channel not subscribed yet and you are enjoying the content make sure to smash that subscribe button and click on the notification bell you would really help me out by doing that you actually would and then that is all for now thank you guys so much and i will see you in the next one bye bye